Hello doctors, let us talk about a quick summary of the different abnormal odors that we have seen in the inborn errors of metabolism. We have studied about the different metabolic processes and we had also talked about the few abnormal odors that are hallmark or classical with respect to a particular metabolic disorder. So the abnormal odors associated with different inborn errors in metabolism. Now, let me write down the name of the disorder here on the left side and we have the abnormal odor on the right side, abnormal odor. Please try to remember whenever we have talked about the glutaric acidemia. glutaric acidemia or glutaric aciduria during the organic aciduria under lipid metabolism where we have the smell of acrid smell of acrid or sweaty feet but the sweaty feet we had also seen with an another disorder known as isovaleric acidemia that is another hallmark finding. So the second one please remember we have isovaleric acidemia and here also we have the sweaty feet odor. Please remember sweaty feet odor or this is also known as the cheesy odor in breath. Important point. See, do not get confused if they ask you regarding the sweaty feet odor and if both glutaric acidemia and isovaleric acidemia is given in the option, please mark the second one as a better answer as far as the sweaty feet odor is concerned. Very important point to be understood. Then we have the maple syrup urine disease, MSUD we had seen. This one classically has burnt sugar smell in urine. Important point to be remembered. If we talk about the tyrosinemia along with tyrosinemia also remember hypermethioninemia in both of them please remember we have a smell of rotten cabbage rotten cabbage or cabbage like body odor. Sometimes these are also considered as mushroom like body odor and we can also remember the smell of rancid butter. Important point, these are associated with tyrosinemia and hypermethioninemia. If you remember this tyrosinemia is actually the type 1 tyrosinemia, do not get confused where we have the tyrosinosis also known as the heparto-renal tyrosinemia, the type 1 deficiency of the enzyme fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase that classically has the cabbage like body odor. Hypermethioninemia if you remember this also has this cabbage like body odor along with this we also have mushroom like as well as rancid butter. If they put both of this tyrosinemia 1 and hypermethioninemia in the option and if they ask cabbage like body odor is seen in which one please mark this tyrosinemia type 1 as a better answer over hypermethioninemia. Now the fifth one please remember we have studied about phenylketonuria. Phenylketonuria we have classical musty or mousy odor in urine. 
माउजी ओडर इन यूरिन वी हैड ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट ट्राई मिथाई लेमिन्यूरिया प्लीज रिमेंबर ट्राई मिथाई लेमिन्यूरिया इज ए डिजॉर्डर व्हिच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फिश ओडर सिंड्रोम एंड विद द स्मेल दैट वी हैव इज रॉटन फिश स्मेल वेरी फाउल स्मेलिंग डिजॉर्डर प्लीज रिमेंबर रॉटन फिश स्मेल दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजॉर्डर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फिश ओडर सिंड्रोम let us quickly discuss us discuss about this fish odor syndrome basically whenever we talk about the consumption of the sea fish along with the sea fish there is coming this trimethyl amine so just i'm highlighting the basics of this pathway we have a trimethyl amine and this amine is coming along with the seafood also it can be ingested with some other food but mainly coming from the seafood and in our body please remember this trimethyl amine is usually converted to trimethyl amine oxide and it is released out in urine please have to understand this trimethyl amine oxide is having no bad odor no bad odor but this trimethyl amine actually has got a bad odor and if due to the enzyme defect for the conversion of trimethyl amine to trimethyl amine oxide is happening what will happen there will be increase in the level of trimethyl amine and if this is coming out in urine it will impart the classical rotten fish smell in urine here and this enzyme which is causing the conversion please remember the answer as flavin containing mono oxygenase type 3 so sometime this is written as fmo3 if this particular enzyme is deficient there will be increase in the level of trimethylamine and if it comes out in urine it will cause trimethyl laminuria or the fish odor syndrome this is another latest question that has surfaced in the exam fraternity here also remember we have something known as number 7th here number 7th we have osthaus urine disease osthaus urine disease here the smell will be basically hops like important point this particular disorder is associated with the methionine mal absorption this is also known as smith strangs disease smith strangs disease this is basically the methionine mal absorption this also we had discussed the another name is the smith strangs disease the eighth one that we can remember please remember we have multiple carboxylase deficiency and in multiple carboxylase deficiency the abnormal odor that we have is tom cat urine now please don't ask me who is tom and who is I mean, what is the cat of tom the <laughs> abnormal odor is basically written as like this the name is tom cat urine then we have the ninth one please remember this we had studied there is hawkins urea and in hawkins urea this is important doctors that we had studied this has the classical swimming pool odor in urine swimming pool odor in urine here very very important question swimming pool odor in urine and if we have the hmg coa acid urea the last one hydroxymethyl glutaric acid urea 
we have hydroxy methyl glutaric acid urea please remember the answer as cat urine so these are the abnormal odors associated with the different metabolic defects that we have discussed here let us do a quick recap please remember the isovaleric acidemia glutaric acidemia then maple syrup urine disease tyrosinemia type 1 hypermethionemia phenyl ketonuria trimethyl aminuria please remember trimethyl aminuria is a latest question along with this also remember this Hawkinson urea that we have studied in number 9, this has classical swimming pool odor in urine. That has also come. This is also a latest question that has to be remembered here. Very, very important point. So, these are the abnormal odors associated with the various inborn errors in metabolism. Thank you.